Hi, my name is Noraida Yaakub. I am from RCE Penang. Today I would like to present about climate change. Climate change is one of the greatest threats facing humankind today. It is not a problem we can put off and deal with when we have more time or more money. My presentation outline is what is climate change, what causes climate change, why should we bother about climate change, what can we do. So, what is climate change? Before you can understand about climate change, you must know what is climate. The climate system is a complex interactive system consisting of the atmosphere, land surface, snow and ice, oceans and other bodies of water and living things. The atmospheric component of the climate system most obviously characterizes climate. Climate is often defined as average weather. So, climate change is a change in the pattern of weather and related changes in oceans, land surfaces and ice sheets occurring over time scales of decades or longer. Climate change is any changes in average weather that lasts for a long period of time like warming temperature. So, what is climate change? Can you define it? The main characteristics of climate change are increases in an average global temperature, that is global warming, changes in cloud cover and precipitations, particularly over land, melting of ice caps and glaciers and reduced snow cover, increases in ocean temperatures and ocean acidity, due to seawater absorbing heat and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. What causes climate change? Actually, climate change is not occurring naturally, but grows rapidly because of human activities pumping more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. So what are the greenhouse gases? They are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, sulfur hexofluoride. So carbon dioxide will produce when humans is burning coal, oil and gas for energy, transport and heat. Methane can be produced by agriculture sector, decomposition of waste in landfills, or use of commercial and organic fertilizer, while chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, and sulfur hexafluoride can be produced when we use when it is used in fridge or air condition. So man-made greenhouse gases emissions up 70% since 1970. So can we imagine in 2018? How much percent that greenhouse gases has been emitted? Actually, greenhouse gases can be divided into two, natural greenhouse gases and man-made greenhouse gases. Natural greenhouse gases help to retain heat because without them, if earth temperature would be 30 degrees Celsius lower, it means that we will be freezing. However, human activities such as fossil fuel burning, deforestation, decomposition of waste in the landfills are changing the natural greenhouse gases. These greenhouse gases will act as thermal blanket in the Earth's atmosphere which trap heat from the sunlight. As a result, Earth's temperature will increase. This is the figure that you could observe how climate change can be occurred. At the beginning, here is the greenhouse gases. And then when we have more human activities, more heat we trap because of more greenhouse gases was emitted. When we have more and more and more greenhouse gases, more heat will trap. 
So this will affect our ocean, weather, food and also our health. For the ocean, it will increase the sea level. For the weather, we can have flood, droughts, wildfires and winters, winter storm. For the food, growing crops became difficult, water supply diminished and for help, we also can have heat exhaustion, heat stroke and dehydration. So, this is questions that you have to think. Could you please name two natural and man-made greenhouse gases? And do we need greenhouse gases? Actually, what is happening right now? This is a fact from IPC. From 1880 to 2012, average global temperature increased by 0.85 degrees Celsius. Ocean have warmed, the amount of snow and ice have diminished, and sea level has risen. From 1901 to 2010, the global average sea level rose by 19 cm as oceans expanded due to warming and ice melted. Given current concentrations and ongoing emissions of greenhouse gases, it is likely that by the end of this century, the increase in global temperature will exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to 1850 to 1900. Global emission of carbon dioxide has increased by almost 50% since 1990. Emissions grew more quickly between 2000 and 2010 than in each of the three periods decades. So, can you think why this is happening? So, why should we bother about climate change? Because of its impact. The impacts of from climate change is earth temperature rise, sea level rise, massive biodiversity loss, increase of extreme events, depletion of freshwater resources, increase of vector borne disease, economic and social instability. So this is the figure about the effect of climate change. So you can see Climate change can change rain and snow patterns, can have stronger storms, can have higher temperature and more heat waves, can rise sea level, our ocean will be warm. So, what do you think will happen to the humans, plants, animals, and underwater living things. Can you tell me? This is a very specific example in Malaysia. Because of, because of the climate change, we can have water shortage because of the concentrated pollutant level in streams, temperature increase in mean surface temperature, 0.6 degrees Celsius to 1.2 degrees Celsius from 1969 to 2009. Rainfall, we have above average rainfall. So in 2007, we have massive floods in Batu Pahat, Johor, Keluang, Kota Tinggi, Mersing, Moa and Segama. We also have Typhoon Uto. Because of this, my country lose about RM 1.5 billion. For sea level, uh, for the sea level rise from 4.6 cm to 11.9 cm from 1993 to 2010. Actually, Malaysia is gifted with renewable energy resources such as hydro, wind, solar, geothermal and tidal wave. But Malaysia is still very much sustained by fossil fuel 
as its dominant source of energy. So, what did you think? It means that more carbon dioxide will, re will release to the atmosphere. So, what can we do to minimize the climate change? So, we can minimize the greenhouse gases emissions. For example, use renewable energy, alternative fuel, proper waste water and solid waste management, and green building. So, for example, when we use renewable energy, we can use solar energy, wind energy, or, alternate, or alternative fuel such as biofuel. So, it can minimize carbon dioxide emission. When we have proper waste water and solid waste management, we can have waste to energy, waste recycle, so it can minimize methane emission. And for the green building, we can have natural lighting and water recycling. So this is the end of my presentation. So we are the last generation that has the chance to stop climate change before it is too late. So what is your role as a student in order to minimize the climate change? Thank you. Bye.